I'm putting the Tesla Model Y to the test to see if it really lives up to all the hype. As a long-time Tesla Model S driver, will this tempt me? Can it impress me or will it fall flat? Well, greetings Titans, I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Well, there's no doubt at all that the Tesla Model Y has taken the electric vehicle market by storm and it's easy to see why. With its sleek design, impressive range, autonomous features, access to the entire Tesla supercharger network, it's no wonder it's become the most popular EV on the market. But with great popularity comes great scrutiny, and I'm here to dive in and see if the refresh Model Y, the Juniper, if that one's really worth the hype. Well, one of the biggest concerns most people have when considering an EV is range anxiety. My older Model S offers me a comfortable 250 miles. Will I be able to make it in my, to my destination in the Model Y refresh without running out of juice? Tesla has made great strides recently in alleviating this fear with its extensive supercharger network, but it's still a major consideration for many buyers. The quoted range is not a lot more than my Model S, but it is misleading on two fronts. First, can you even compare a basic Model Y with the mid-range Model S? I think not. Cars are in a totally different league. Model Y is a much lighter car with a smaller battery, much better economy. So in that sense, it's a clear winner. But the test itself has also changed a lot. It's now very different. Instead of just setting the best mode up for economy to be able to get your test figures, WLTP, EVs now must select all settings uh, test each one individually, then average the lot. It'll be much more realistic. So it'll probably easily match my Model S in the real world, but it'll use oh so much less electricity to do so. It is in an efficiency world of its own amongst its peers and will probably not be matched by many. Another major concern is pricing. Model Y is definitely an investment and some people may be put off by the higher price point. I always consider price point value. In other words, is it value in and of itself? If I bought this, would I look at other similar cars and wonder why I've spent so much more? Well, no, there's no fear of that. Model Y is quite happy. It can hold its head high amongst all others of a similar price and completely destroy many others that are even dearer. So how does the Model Y stack up against its competitors? Does it have the same level of luxury, refinement, say, as an Audi e-tron, or the same level of tech as, say, Hyundai Kona Electric? And what about the environmental impact? Is the Model Y really as eco-friendly as Tesla claims? Well, all of these questions and more are on the minds of potential buyers, and I'm here to help answer them. One must now realise that the early days of Tesla and the panel gaps and poor quality are well and truly a thing of the past. For many years now, the Model Ys have been the every bit as good as the best that Germany has to offer. And indeed, many are now actually made in Germany by those same German engineers who have such experience behind them. The Model Y Juniper performance is the first Tesla SUV to match the quality and performance and price of a full-blown BMW M4 petrol. It's just lacking in one department, seriously lacking. There's no flat six or V8 exhaust roar. It just sits within the sound of silence. Price parity is here today. In fact, the M4 petrol, uh, the i4 EV, and the MY Model Y performance are all extremely closely matched for price. 0 to 60 time, top speed, which in all cases is way too fast for you ever to use. And handling is now very much more precise for comfort. We're well, moving on to the good stuff, the features that make the Model Y truly shine, besides the performance, are the interior quality now, which is now top notch, with double glazed windows all round plus additional soundproofing that drops the sound levels by a good number of decibels. Against my Model S with air suspension, the original Model Y I found was noisy and uncomfortable. Not anymore. It is now far more quiet and smooth. They've worked wonders on this suspension and ride. In fact, you may want to turn the radio on once in a while to confirm you haven't actually gone deaf. They're silent. 
premium materials are used and a simply massive touchscreen with the best operating system in any EV, a stunning premium audio system. But it's not just about looks, the Model Y also boasts some serious driver assist systems, including Autopilot, a standard on every single model in the range, and the option for the enhanced Autopilot or one day full self-driving. There are countless videos on YouTube showing how this is already working and how close they are actually getting to launch. Well, the Model Y is also a very practical vehicle, much bigger inside than it looks from the outside, with plenty of cargo space. Now, stop! Now, it offers an incredible, well-beating 2,158 litres of cargo space, which is matched only by the VW ID Buzz, which is basically a van. And it has seating for up to seven passengers, although if they've got legs or they're over about three feet tall, they probably won't fit in the rearmost seats. My Model S is the seven-seat version, but the rearmost passenger seats in mine face rearwards, uh, which gives them much more legroom and much more headroom. Well, consider these rear seats very carefully, because once your kids can walk, these seats will be virtually redundant, and they end up just taking up valuable space from the boot. With its advanced safety features, it's a great option for families or anyone who wants a safe and reliable ride. The Euro NCAP score is the highest of any vehicle ever tested apart from the Model S, which still holds the safest car in the world. Spot. But how does it compare to other SUVs on the market? Does it have the same level of versatility, say, as a Toyota RAV4, or the same level of luxury as a BMW X3? Well, despite its challenges, the Model Y offers a unique blend of performance and practicality that appeals to many drivers. It's not perfect, of course, but what car is? The real question is, does it live up to the hype? Well, in my opinion, the answer is a resounding yes. The original Model Y was a game changer in the EV market, ending up the best selling car in the world of all time. The Model Y Juniper deserves to top that by offering an improved level of performance, comfort, road holding, tech and practicality that is actually a league ahead. But I fear it won't get close. The market is pretty well saturated and most of them already have the original Model Y on a loan or lease that will still have some years to run. And before it has time to get into its stride properly, the Model 2 is likely to make an appearance and blow everything away that ever existed. So what's the verdict? Does the Tesla Model Y Juniper refresh live up to the hype? Yeah, in my opinion, absolutely. It's not without its flaws. I think the main one most people will find is the total minimalist approach, whereby you don't even any longer get indicator, wiper and gear selector stalks. And as for the driver dashboard, <laughs> What dashboard? There isn't one. The view is, is breathtaking, but lacking. This will definitely take some getting used to and definitely put some people off initially, but it's well worth having one to drive for a little while to see how you get on with it. Overall, it's an incredibly impressive vehicle, the shorter turn heads. It's not worth selling your original Model Y for, in my opinion, but when your loan or lease runs out, this is probably a no brainer. Whether you're a seasoned EV owner or just looking to make the switch to EVs, Model Y Juniper should definitely be on your shortlist if it falls within your budget. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the Tesla Model Y in the comments below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for more electrical electric vehicle reviews and comparisons. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to check out my other videos on electric vehicles. See you in the next one.